Hi, welcome to another video. So, GitHub Copilot is now free. Yes, they just announced that GitHub Copilot is now going to have a new free tier for all users. It comes with all the same features as the Pro membership, but with some limits. It can handle 50 messages per month, only with models like GPT-40 and Sonnet, which is okay, considering that it's free. Everything else is the same, except for the fact that the auto-completion is also limited to 2,000 completions per month. Now, I don't understand what they mean by the 2,000 completions. Is it the auto-complete? If it is, then this is quite low. Anyway, the best part is surely that you get 50 uses of Sonnet per month, and Copilot can also do multi-file editing and everything which means that it's surely better than Cursor for the free tier now, which is pretty amazing. The thing about Copilot is that it's very tightly integrated into VS Code itself, because both are by Microsoft. They have been pushing VS Code a lot, and I believe this is going to be a good thing for users who don't use AI as much, but would like to have it as an option without paying much. Now let me tell you how you can use the new GitHub Copilot free tier on your setup. You'll need a GitHub account, first of all. So, get yourself one if you don't have one already. Then, all you need to do is open up VS Code. Generally, when you install VS Code for the first time, you also get the option to enable Copilot features, which would make things easier for you but I didn't have it enabled at the time. So, I'll tell you the basic way that would work for everyone. So, first of all, just open up VS Code and go to the extensions. Now, just search for GitHub Copilot and install both of these extensions. One is the basic GitHub Copilot extension, and the other one is the chat extension, which gives you the option to chat and everything. Once you have it installed, just open it, and you'll see the option to sign in with your GitHub account. So, just do that, and then you'll see this interface. Now, this is GitHub Copilot, and you can see the models at the bottom along with the ability to chat. You can also add extensions to GitHub Copilot, which I'll show you in a bit, as well as attach contexts and do voice chat. The models include GPT-4.0 and Sonnet. Always use Sonnet because it's the best. If you don't see Sonnet, then you may need to go to your GitHub profile on the web and, in Copilot settings, enable the preview models. So, there's that. Now, the interface that you are seeing is only for asking. So, for example, if you want it to do multi-file edits, then it can't do that in this interface. It can only do basic stuff like chatting, asking, and such. But you'll see that you have another icon at the top on your sidebar. And if you click it, then you'll see that it opens up another interface. And it's the Edit with Copilot interface. This is basically like Windsurf's Cascade or Cursor's Composer. It allows you to add a set of working files to it, and it can propose edits to them which you can then approve, or it can also create new files apart from your working set. Another thing apart from this is that you can go into your code and select any block, or even without selection, you can start inline assist by hitting command plus I, and it will open up the inline assist where you can choose a model, enter anything, and generate code. I believe it has the same limits as the chat interface. So, that's cool as well. Now, let's test it a bit and see both the chat and edit options. First of all, let's go over here to the chat interface. Here, you'll see that the file you have opened in VS Code will be added to the context automatically, which is good, because generally, you would want to chat about the context of that file. So, once you send it in, you'll see that it starts generating the response, and based on the context you add, it can tell you about it, 
which is pretty great. If you want to chat about the whole context of your code base, then you can also click the Attach Context thing, and then it will take reference of code automatically by indexing the files and deciding what it feels is right for the chat. So, that's super cool as well. That's how you can use it. But there's another option as well, which is the Edit with Copilot option. So, the Edit with Copilot option is pretty cool as well. Here, it does the same stuff as the chat interface, but it can edit stuff based on what you add to the context in the working set. It can only work on the stuff that you add here, although it can still create files apart from the working set. So, that's good. Once you ask it to do anything, it will create the respective files or edit the file based on what you ask it to do. It works well in this part. But what if you don't know what to edit and just want Copilot to figure it out? Well, you can do that as well. So, you can just go into the Copilot Ask thing. Now, here, you'll need to add the whole code base to the context by writing at and then selecting code base. Now, you can ask it to do what you want it to do. I want it to just change the text of the modal, so if we send it here, then it proposes the changes, which is great. But this is just text. So, to apply it, you can hit this icon at the bottom that says Edit with Copilot. Now, what it will do is that it will automatically add the context required as per Copilot itself and will edit the file and apply the changes to the required files which is pretty amazing. Now, I do believe that this is not as good as Windsurf, but it's still great to see that you can get access to models like Claude and GPT-4.0 and get some pretty good stuff out of it. It only makes sense to have it rather than not have it, because even if you don't use AI, you can come in sometimes and talk about any issues and everything like that. Another thing is, that if you run some command in the terminal and it shows any error, then you can fix it with GitHub Copilot as well, which is also very cool. You can also add Copilot extensions like Perplexity and stuff, which are basically tools that extend its capabilities. So, it works pretty well, and it's really cool that such stuff is available for free now. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.